Hey friends, it's Gardener Sydney back in the garden again. So today I'm not at the King School Garden, I am at the Moore School Garden. I know some of you have seen it before, but I'm gonna show you around and show you the garden. So here is our Morse School Garden. We have big, beautiful beds, all of these pots, and a lot of plants growing. We also have our trees. This tree still has some leaves at the very bottom, but this tree, almost no leaves. The garden is finishing up for the season, so I have gone through today and picked out some of the vegetables but that's not all I wanted to show you today. I wanna to show you our rotting log here at the Morse. I know we've looked at our rotting log at the King School, and I wanna see if they're any different. So let's go check it out. So this is our rotting log over here. It's right next to our compost bin. So let's go see what's in there first. I see a lot of old plant stuff, some veggies, do we see any bugs in here? I don't think so right now. And here is our rotting log. How does it look different from the other rotting logs we've seen? It feels a little less dry to me. Let's flip it over. So here is our log. Let's tip it up. Whoa. Did you see that? Let's get closer. What? is under our rotting log. What do you see? Is there anything in our rotting log? Whoa. This is so cool, everyone. I see a lot of different things. I see these long, skinny ones. Let's get close to that. Look at that color. And then what was scurrying over here? And there's so many more of them. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. I, I can't even keep track of all of the things we just saw under this log. But I think I know of a way that we can keep track of the things we saw under the log. I think we can use our scientist tool, our science notebook to draw some of the things we saw under the log. So I'm gonna go get mine. Okay, everyone. So here is my science notebook. This is the one that I use. I know yours is black or brown, and I am gonna open up to the newest page that I haven't used, so that one is here. The first thing I wanna do in my science notebook is I wanna write down today's date, just like this. So in my science notebook, I'm gonna do a drawing, and I wanna teach you four things about science drawings that we want to remember. They are the A, B, C, Ds of science drawing. So we want our science drawings to be accurate, which means we want them to look like what they actually look like. This doesn't mean you have to be a great artist, just try your best. We want them to be big, so I don't wanna take up that much space, I wanna take up that much space. We want them to be colorful, so include colors if you can. And we want them to be detailed, so if you can include labels or different colors or any of these things to make it look more detailed. So I'm gonna do my science drawing of something I see under the log, and then I'll show you. So here is my finished science drawing. You can see that I added some labels. So do you think you know what I was trying to draw? So in my science drawing, I used these very thin markers because they let me add in detail. But if you have colored pencils, those would be also great to use because you can make thin or thick lines on your drawing. 
Friends, thank you for joining me in the garden today. I am excited to see what happens to this rotting log as time passes. Are there gonna be different bugs underneath? Are we gonna be able to draw new things in our science notebook? And I'm so excited to see what you're going to draw in your science notebook. I'll see you all soon. Bye.